What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Ryan Pinckney and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm really excited to be doing my first Salesforce video where I'm going to be talking about what a Salesforce system administrator does. I've been a system administrator for a while now and I still get a lot of blank stares at parties when I tell people I'm a, I'm a Salesforce system admin. They often think I work for Salesforce the company and generally are just very confused. So I'm excited to be going into detail and highlighting some of the things that I do on a daily basis as a system administrator. What, what would you say you do here? Before I get into what a system administrator does on Salesforce, I want to remind you to like and subscribe below. My channel is still a work in progress and, and, and growing, and so your support really helps. And I really, really appreciate all those that have already subscribed. All right, for this video, I'm going to assume that you've probably already heard of Salesforce or maybe used it at a job or other organization. If you're interested in learning more about what exactly is Salesforce and its capabilities, I will be doing another video on that. So stay tuned and look out for that. Now, what is a Salesforce system administrator? I'm gonna use this analogy a lot during the video that your Salesforce system administrator is the gatekeeper to your organization or company's org. What exactly is an org? An org is your company's copy of Salesforce and is different from other companies' copies of Salesforce. So everyone has a unique environment to build and configure. Salesforce system administrators wear a lot of different hats and do a lot of different responsibilities. And so I'm gonna highlight some of the key things that I do on a daily basis as a system administrator. First, system administrators are in charge of managing stakeholders and educating those stakeholders on the Salesforce platform. To a lot of people within an organization, Salesforce can really feel like a black box. They don't really understand what's going on or why it's used or its capabilities. What is it? This gen is the internet. <laughs> As a system administrator, I spend a lot of time explaining and helping guide different stakeholders on the different products and features of Salesforce. So to be able to do that, obviously, a Salesforce system administrator has to be educated and know the Salesforce platform very intimately and all of its capabilities. Just as an aside, I've seen a lot of organizations who don't hire a Salesforce professional to run their org and delegate it to someone who doesn't have any experience. And that can be a really big challenge because Salesforce is a very large platform, has a lot of different capabilities, and really to get your money's worth, it's really valuable and crucial that you have someone who intimately understands the platform and has experience building on Salesforce. All right, after managing and educating stakeholders, another really important thing that Salesforce system administrators do is backend configuration. Now, there's a lot of different parts that could go into backend configuration. Some of those include developing and configuring the UI, uh, that being the, the interface that you see when you log into Salesforce, that can be setting up the data model, configuring the fields that you want to display on the certain pages. It can also include branding, uh, changing the system colors and adding photos and pictures. Backend configuration also includes a lot of security, uh, firewalls, permissions, and configuring the users as well. So there's a lot of those routine basic things that have to happen and the Salesforce system administrator is the gatekeeper and is in charge of making sure all those different configurations meet the stakeholder requirements and needs of the business. Number three. As a Salesforce system administrator, I spend a lot of time setting up automations. Now, there are a lot of products offered by Salesforce for building these automations, like Flow Builder, Process Builder, and Workflow Rules. In addition to that, there are a lot of third-party tools that allow you to make automations and hook up your different enterprise systems as well. And automations are super important because it saves the end users time and gives them the ability to get more done and be more productive on the Salesforce platform. 
Number four, Salesforce system administrators are in charge of making integrations into other enterprise systems. Now, integrations can be custom code, or you can leverage some of the pre-built uh, out of the box connectors that come with Salesforce. Uh, some of those connectors can be to Outlook or Gmail, but they can also be to some larger enterprise systems like NetSuite or ServiceNow. These integrations are super important because Salesforce doesn't live in a vacuum. It has to integrate with all the other enterprise systems that your organization. So as a Salesforce system administrator, I spend a lot of time making sure that these integrations are working and operating at top uh, performance for the organization. All right, so those are my four main areas where I would say as a system administrator, I spend the most amount of time. Of course, this list is not comprehensive. And if you wanna learn more, I would check out some of my other blog posts, or you can also check out Salesforce's training courses on Trailhead. Now, there are some other tasks that I want to give a shout out to that I have to do on a daily basis because as the gatekeeper of the system, I have that responsibility. And that includes sending password resets. It's always fun to get my an inbox flooded of people requesting for password resets, but it happens quite a bit. And I also often have to change the colors of the system and the branding because people like to have uh, their opinions about certain colors. I, for one, have no sense of color or design, and so I have to rely on other people for that. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you thought it was interesting, please leave a like or a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you will get up notified on all my latest content, and we'll see you guys in the next video.